In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with BC LiDAR point cloud data in Equator and how to export it for use in other platforms like CAD or GIS software. We're going to be looking at a site in North Cowichan. I've already drawn a markup around the area that I want to take a look at, so I've just clicked Zoom to, and here is the spot. If you navigate into the topography menu, you're basically going to see a drop down at the top with Canada and the US. Selecting Canada will show you the extent of all of the LiDAR data that is currently available in the Equator platform. Check back often because we're always updating this. Here you can see I've clicked on the North Cowichan polygon um, and it covers the extent of, of the city here. So to start, I want to look at the point cloud because that is the highest resolution um, elevation data that I can see. I've selected it from the view in Equator dropdown. And now I'm basically just drawing a boundary around the area where I want the points to be shown. It's going to take a second to basically process that request. And then the points will pop in onto my screen. So here you can see the LiDAR data has loaded in for that spot based on the boundary that I've drawn. I'm rotating the camera and I'm just looking at it from a 3D perspective. You can see the trees very clearly. You can see different features on the ground. In the layer menu where I've just navigated to, you have the option to toggle that layer on and off. And more importantly, you have the option to style that layer as you would like to see it. So you can play with different parameters in here, such as um, the, the lighting on the points uh, by modifying intensity. You can play with point size. Here I've switched it to 100 and 10, and now I'm just switching it back to 40. Um, the height range basically allows you to adjust where the max and min colors are placed with respect to the elevation differential. And finally, under classifications, this allows you to toggle on points with different tags. So I switched it to ground and now I've switched it back. So I have all of the classifications on. So again, this is a great place to start in Equator because it shows you the most accurate source data that we're working with. Now I'm going to take that source data, that point cloud, and convert it into contours. So again, in the topography menu, I've selected now contours, and I've drawn my boundary. I'm selecting one meter resolution. So it's basically going to take those points and turn them into one meter contours. Um, turned off my point cloud in the layer manager, and you can see those contours have finished processing. So that's great. Um, clicking on an individual line brings up the elevation and clicking on the actual layer allows you to change the formatting. So here I've changed them to orange and now I'm turning on labels. So dropping down spot labels because I want to display the actual elevation of the line. I'm clicking points and now from this drop down menu I'm switching um, the parameter that it's showing to elevation and I'm adding meters at the end. So just customizing the way that that label looks. Beyond the actual attribute that the label is showing, um, you, can you can customize the formatting using these sliders. So changing things like size, margin, height, rotation, um, even the color of the background. So here I'm just changing the background from white to um, transparent and increasing the label size now. So the last thing that I want to show you is how to create a 3D surface in Equator from the LiDAR. So if you go back to the topography menu and now you select 3D surface, again, draw your boundary and uh, it's going to basically generate a 3D terrain from that LiDAR data um, and overlay that on top of sort of the default terrain in the platform. So um, this is going to allow us to do things in the platform like take cross sections right from that 3D LiDAR terrain. OK, you can see it's just finished processing here. And uh, the surface has now been improved based on the actual LiDAR point cloud. If I go into the insert menu, you have the option to drop down a cross section here. So I'll just draw a straight line and click view. And right away, you get a really good idea of what that section looks like through the site here. I'll just take one more. I'll go in the other direction and again, click on view cross section to get a preview. 
and there you go there's a section right through your site so you can export that if you want in shapefile csv format say you're working in another platform you just want to look at the elevations um, quickly export it and you can also format that line to look exactly how you want color and width wise so a lot of our users are engineers and they want to get this elevation data out into CAD. So back in the topography menu, I'll show you how to do that. Select contours, DXF or shape, uh, whatever format makes the most sense based on your workflow. Um, draw the boundaries again of the site, select your resolution. Actually, I'll change it here from one meter. I'm going to do 0.3 because say I want a much more detailed um, understanding in my CAD drawing. And then um, simply click on start and it's going to export the data and send you an email when it's finished. And that data is basically CAD ready. So you can just open it up in your software and um, start on your on your project. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below.